itwa Jidio Kenya Juge Town na mimi msimamizi mkuu kwa kampuni inaitwa Wilson Homes na leo imekuwa siku kubwa sana kwetu kama kampuni na kwa client wetu wote kwa maana tumekuwa tukipeana nyumba zibazo tumewajengea ambazo tuna uzanga zikianza kujengwa ndio inajulikana kwa kim, kwa kimobo kama off plan hizi nyumba unaanza kulipa mwanzo ikianza ku, kujengwa ndio ikuwe na wakati mzuri wa kulipa kama mwaka hadi miezi mwaka moja that is miaka, miezi 12 hadi miezi 15 ikikuja kumalizia kulipa na sisi tunakumalizia kujenga so leo ni siku ya tamati ya ujenzi wa hizi nyumba na sasa kutoka leo wataingia wata wenye wameshamaliza kulipa na waanze maisha yao kwa huku tunajagaga vitu zinaitwa gated communities why because the gated community it's the order of the day right now when we talk about security iko sawa kabisa when we talk about accessibility hizi ni zenye zinawezeshanga cost sharing hata vitu zingine maisha inakuwa mzuri na inaweza kuwa ina, ina, inakuwa yenye inafaa bora zaidi hizi ni nyumba attack the culture of bringing up our generation the young generation that is people are given the opportunity to bring the, their kids in a family setup whereby they emulate each other and much more encourage each other to be better people in the society and make them uh, the, the future leaders of the future business people or business person of the future days to come maybe how was 2023 2023 was a challenging year for sure uh, we've seen upsurge of several material uh, prices but again uh, like we all know we are we are living in this Kenya we can only make it better so as things go up and and most importantly even for us who are in the construction industry the best thing is to also soldier on encourage each other and make it happen because again th th it's not gonna get easier than it is right now we can only get tough and face the situation and make everything comes to the end but, but i would want to encourage maybe uh, those who would say things are tough if by any chance we down our tools here we are not getting any positivity or any positive vibe to our own life as kenyan citizen so most important thing is we look at the the bigger picture make sure that we also deliberate to make progress assuming today everybody was having a home then we could not be negotiating of things to do with the rent or, or other things that comes after that we only focus only big focus for your family is providing a good education and a good lifestyle and that is what we advocate for as wilston homes to make sure that the family is also get something to celebrate about and even for those who are investors because we have whole first homeowners and investors as well get a reason to to smile at the end of the day get in tenants to these houses and also get a life after the hard work government provision or the deduction for housing levy was a positive stride to to the improvement of Kenya living standard you can imagine most of the people who you know previously we've had people uh, mostly that have been affected are people who work for the government we ask now what about the private parastatos that are there in Kenya what about these other business people who do not have a, a tangible employer like those that are uh, in the civil servant department so i would say it was a positive move and i would encourage because once you sort the housing agenda for each and every set citizen of this country then you leave the others now on development agendas only so it is a very positive stride and i would encourage people to view it in a positive way because at the end of the day you know combination that combination of pool of the fad will help those who are less privileged to get this home and at the end of the day they will have more reason to celebrate uh, because again they are omitted the opportunity to buy rad and construct for themselves so providing them a shelter is also a big advantage once the progress 2024 brings as wilston homes bring a positive change uh, in the dynamic of uh, real estate industry we are committed to make sure that we support the government in the housing agenda you know being one of the biggest item for this but the, the current government the current regime in place then we can only embark on making sure that because we all know the government cannot provide homes for all of us so the private sector or the private uh, real estate companies must provide to the numbers. So adding up to the total numbers the government has, then that is a win for, for everyone in the country, and more so 
for our biggest diaspora grant because those ones are also looking up on us as private developers to give them something tangible and also for them to smile once they're back home uh, having the investment of getting a home 